Aruba Certified Campus Access Associate Exam HPE 6A85 Dumps Questions are the best material for you to study all the related objectives. Share some HPE 6A85 Exam Dumps Questions below. 1. A network technician is using Aruba Central to troubleshoot network issues. Which dashboard can be used to view and acknowledge issues when beginning the troubleshooting process? A. The Alerts and Events Dashboard B. The Audit Trail Dashboard C. The Reports Dashboard D. The Tools Dashboard 2. You need to configure wireless access for several classes of lot devices some of which operate only with 802.11b. Each class must have a unique PSK and will require a different security policy applied as a role there will be 15 to 20 different classes of devices and performance should be optimized. Which option fulfills these requirements? A. Single SSID with MPSK for each lot class using 5 GHz and 6 GHz bands. B. Single SSID with MPSK for each lot class using 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. C. Individual SSIDs with unique PSK for each lot class using 5 GHz and 6 GHz bands. D. Individual SSIDs with unique PSK for each lot class, using 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz band. 3. When using Aruba Central what can identify recommended steps to resolve network health issues and allows you to share detailed information with support personnel? A. Overview Dashboard B. O. A. L. O. P. S. C. Alerts and Events D. Audit Trail 4. You need to troubleshoot an Aruba CX6204 node VSF stack switch that fails to boot correctly select the option that allows you to access the switch and see the boot options available for OS images and service OS. A. Member 2 RJ45 console port B. Member 2 Switch Management Port C. Conductor USB-C Console Port D. Conductor Management Port using SSH 5. Which device configuration group types can a user define in Aruba Central during group creation? Select 2. A. Security Group B. Template Group C default group D all group E especially group 6. What can be done to dynamically set the PO priority on a switch port when deploying IP cameras APs and other PO devices? A. Enable quick PO on the switch modules B. Enable profiling for device provisioning C. Configure PO power management to class-based mode D. Configure PO power management to dynamic mode 7. Which statement about manual switch provisioning with Aruba Central is correct? A. Manual provisioning does not require DHCP and requires DNS B. Manual provisioning does not require DHCP and does not require DNS C. Manual provisioning requires DHCP and does not require DNS D. Manual provisioning requires DHCP and requires DNS 8. What is an advantage of using Layer 2 MAC authentication? A. It matches usernames to MAC address B. No setup is required on the client. C. Mac allow lists are easily maintained over time. D. Mac identifiers are hard to spoof. 9. You need to drop excessive broadcast traffic on ingress to an Aruba OCX switch. What is the best technology to use for this task? A. Rate limiting. B. 
BDWRR queuing, C cos shaping, D strict queuing. 10. Which feature can network administrators use to centralized RF planning and optimization service when using an Aruba Mobility Master architecture? A. Airwave B. Client match C. Airmatch D. Client wave <laughs>